Hello, my name is Annie Tremblay. I'm a zoologist and a beekeeping teacher. Welcome to this first class, the introduction class. If you're taking this class, you probably know already that bees are really important for us and also that they are in danger and then you would like to help. So let's see that one by one. So first of all, why bees are so important? Bees are pollinators. They are responsible for pollination of plants. What is pollination? It's the transfer of pollen from the male part of a flower to the female part of a flower. So there's many agents that can do that, not just bees. You can have wind that could do that, other insects, bats. But then bees are really efficient. 80% of the flowers are pollinated by insects. And more than half of these insects are bees because they have hairy body, so they are really efficient pollinators. So by moving pollen from one plant to another, they allow cross-pollination, a mix of genes, and with this, they increase biodiversity. So most of the flowers you see in your garden and most of the birds feeding of these fruits, they are there because the bees have come first and pollinate the flowers bearing fruits and feeding the birds or other animals. Like you see on this pyramid, bees are at the bottom of all food chains because they preserve the flower diversities that will feed the first traffic level, the herbivore that will feed the carnivore. So all the biodiversity that we see around us depend of pollinators and mainly bees. The second important role of bees that is related also to pollination is they ensure food security. So three quarter of our food in our plate needs pollination. You can see our tomatoes, berries, pumpkins, melons, cabbage, blueberry, avocado, they all need pollination at certain degrees. So some plants are obligated to have bees to pollinate. If we talk about the curcubitacea, the melon, pumpkins, they need absolutely to have bees around to be pollinated. And other culture, like example, the strawberry, the shape and the size of the fruit will be increased, will be better if bees are around. If it's just wind pollinated, the fruit will be uh, deformed. So, we have to keep that in mind. Bees are really important to have diversity in our plate. Many insects, not just bees, are decreasing drastically around the world. I don't know if you noticed, but then in my childhood, when we would drive in, on a highway, our car would finish with lots of insects smashed in the windshield or in the front of the car. We don't see that much anymore. There's much less insects around. So why? So here I have grouped the main reasons why. First of all, the loss of habitat. They have less place to nest and less place to feed. Also, the, it's related to the monoculture. We have big field of the same plant, a big field of almond trees, for example. It's really interesting when it's flowering time for the bees, but then after that, there's nothing else nothing else to eat. Also, the climate change, it will affect the bees also because they have to follow seasons. They have to be ready on time when the plants are flowering. But then if the plant flowers a bit before or a bit after because the climate has changed, the bees are not ready to go forage. They're still hibernating or they're still not ready in number if we talk about the colony. So diseases affect mainly uh, honeybee because we are exchanging material from one country to another. So one example is the varroa that is originally from Asia, but is now it's worldwide. The distribution is, is affecting every bee colony. And sometimes the bees, if they forage and they meet uh, native bees, we're not sure yet if these disease can be exchanged between different species. 
Also, if we continue with chemicals, of course, if we apply pesticides, again, insect pests in our field. These are insects. So if we're trying to kill bad insects, we will also kill the good insects, the, the pollinators, but also the predators for these pests and the decomposer to take care of our soil. And the last thing I put here, it's mainly also for honeybee, is the transhumans. When we move bees from one crop to another, it's really stressful for them. And what happens when we are stressed? we get sick more easily. So that's one problem with transhumans. So let's see now what we're going to see together in this course, the main topic I want to cover with you. So in my first class, I'm going to describe to you the bee evolution, the diversity, the classification, because there's not only honeybee, there are 20,000 species of bees. And it's important to get to know them, to be able to preserve them better. Then the other topic, I want to describe the pollination syndrome, how the flowers are adapted for each pollinators, how bees see the world. So it's interesting to see that they don't see the same colors, they don't feel the same way than us. Different plant families that are important for bees and that you could plant in your garden. The bee lifestyles, 70% of the bees are solitaries. So we always think of a bee colony with her queen and the workers, but bee lifestyle have a big gradient from solitaries to social. So we'll see that different way of living for bees. And I want to talk to you a little bit about basic of beekeeping. That's not a course about beekeeping, but we have to mention it in a course about bees. And then we're finished with what else can we do to help. So these are the theoretical course, but I also included some practical. So I explain how you can go and explore your bees around your neighborhood in a bee safari. And we're going to make together seed bombs to help having more flowers around your surrounding. And we'll plan a bee garden together and, and we'll make a bee hotel together to put in your bee garden. So that's the topics we're gonna see together. And I would like to finish for you to think about what you already know about bees and what you would like to learn about bees and leave me your comments. And then if there's something I could add to my course and I didn't include, maybe I have time to make it for you and add it at the end as an extra bonus class. So you let me know what you're expecting of this course. I would really like to be an interactive class. And let's start together. Enjoy my class. <laughs>